Hey everyone and welcome back to another video on Lumber Capital Log Yard. Today I'm going to be talking about how we get rid of some of the byproduct from the mill and how we're going to use this Easton made Axis firewood splitter to help us out. So let's get into this video. So as some of you guys know, our main waste product coming off of the mill is the slab wood. And when we're cutting hemlock and pine, softwoods basically, we don't have a great use for it, although we have come up with great ideas of how to get rid of it. I've made videos on that if you guys haven't already checked that out. Um, but now that we're cutting hardwoods, uh, like oak and cherry and walnut this is all great for firewood so we are not wasting the slabs coming off of the mill we are putting them to use making firewood and the question was how because they don't really fit it doesn't really fit properly not all the pieces at least um, into the bellows so then we'd end up having to separate even more out um, just be one extra step uh, we could have used the timber wolf maybe if we were going to cut them down to length anyhow but as you can see we used the chainsaw and we cut the pieces down that one's just a plain board but good kindling right um, anyhow we're gonna be turning this stuff into firewood turning this waste product that wouldn't have made us a lot of money into good burnable firewood it is just a nasty day out I mean as you can see the firewood here is all just covered in the snowy slush stuff that's just a mess so that is what gloves are good for i am definitely putting them to use today because it is just nasty out uh we're gonna be so wet i should have brought two pairs of gloves because honestly i'm gonna need to change them out here um, my pants are already wet from just rubbing this stuff up against uh, my legs here but <laughs> okay enough complaining emerald let's get this machine uh, fired up here and get going with it.
So we actually just finished everything that was cut for us today. So we completed our mission, I suppose. Uh, it works great running it with two people. You saw Jade and I running it together. Um, one person just purely runs the machine and then the other person loads the arm brings up the arm and then also tosses the stuff into the conveyor belt. Obviously the tossing in with the conveyor belt wouldn't be necessary in all operations with this but uh, that's just the way that we have it set up right now. It's not a permanent thing so uh, it works for, for the time being here. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe but other than that I'll see you guys next time.